welcome to Koh Panyang. Well, this is gonna be a very fun vlog, isn't it? So if you haven't watched the previous series so far, hi, my name is Christiana and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. I'm currently backpacking through Thailand with my boyfriend, Jeremy, and we have been on the island of Koh Panyang for around two weeks, just under two weeks. And to be completely honest with you, we weren't actually planning on coming to the full moon. We kind of just accepted that when we arrived, we were like, ah, oh, like we're not here around the time of the full moon, but that's okay. We'll enjoy what else the island has to offer. But it actually ended up being that we were enjoying the rest of the island so much that we just kept extending our stay. And well, the date of the full moon has come around. And so we were like, well, we might as well go to it now. We've been doing a little bit of hostel hopping for the past couple of days because things have just been booking out. Um, but we managed to get somewhere on Hardrin Beach just for tonight. We left our big bags in a hotel that we were staying at a previous night in the Tong Sala region. Um, so we just like packed little bags and we brought them here with us to Hardrin. We actually booked to stay at the Panyang Mantra Resort, which is just across the way there. And when we arrived, she was like, I'm so sorry we double booked you, the bookings online were not meant to be open and we were like, oh shit. But then she said, don't worry, I'll call my friends, I'll organise you somewhere else. And they have, they've organised us another hotel room which is literally just opposite and we're paying a little bit more but then she said that she's compensating a lot of the price anyway. We think it's called Mr K Hardrin Hotel which is just opposite the Panyang Mantra Resort and it looks like this. Sorry Jeremy. <laughs> We have a ensuite. We paid like 1,200 baht for this, but she said that it's actually worth 2,500 and that they paid half. Anyway, we paid 1,200 for this room for one night. It's right in the thick of it, so we're hoping it's a good location. So our resort is inside of here. That was where we were supposed to stay. And this is Hardrin Beach. We've got people getting painted up already. We've got the drinks going down here. They've actually offered us uh, free drinks over here because of double booking us, which is very kind. Yesterday, we went out to a few shops to see if we could find some clothes to wear. The full moon party is tomorrow. We're in the Pantit Tong Sala area and we found a store which is amazing. It has so many bits of clothing because everyone dresses up for the full moon and also your clothes are probably going to get ruined. I don't know if they have trying on rooms here but I quite like this. I don't know if it would fit but they have so 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 much choice here. There's like crop tops, there's t-shirts, there's shorts, just all the fluorescent colours. But I didn't end up buying anything because the prices were a little bit high. So it's half past three right now. So we're just going to go out shopping again and see if we can find just a nice little outfit to wear for tonight and get some food and start drinking and join the party. I hope I don't get too drunk in this vlog and I can actually show you what it's like to attend the full moon party. But we'll see. Let's go. It's all quite similar stuff to yesterday. I do like this nice back. Something like that's quite easy to wear. Yes, mate, go for it. I love Koh Panyang. Oh, cartwheel, thank you. We're just picking up some food down one of the side roads. We haven't actually eaten today and it's about four o'clock. So I've just ordered some chicken fried rice, which is gonna be 60 baht. Let's grab something to eat before we get started on the drinks. I feel like that's a smart idea. They've been a bit kind. You know they've mixed up our rooms. Well, they've given us a free bucket of gin and tonic for free. It's 4.30 and this is the first drink of the evening. Things will never be the same from now on. Ooh, we got the paints out. She says she's gonna give us some paint for free, which is nice. And as you will see, we have signed our names, Christy and Jeremy. 
So we're gonna get a strawberry daiquiri from Emma. Here we have the Tommy Resort, which has its own little party going on, which is quite close to the uh, I Love Copenhagen sign. Uh, here we have Jeremy enjoying himself with a bucket. <laughs> Okay, I've just come back to the room before I go out for good. I've changed into my solo shorts, which have zipped pockets, so I don't need to bring a bag. I'm just gonna have my phone in this zipped pocket and then some cash in this one with my camera. And am I bringing anything else? Ah, the room key. Yes, I'll bring the room key. I tried to fix up that palm tree a little bit. Jeremy did me a very shabby job. Um, so I, I tried to fix it up a little bit. This is the look so far. Who knows if I'll get any more paint throughout the night, but uh, <laughs> when we arrived on the beach and I saw the professionals doing the body art, I was like, oh yeah, I definitely want to go to one of those. And then suddenly, as soon as they just gave us the paint for free into our own hands, I was like, oh, well, guess this is it then, guess we're just doing our own. You know, I'm, I'm not mad and I like my top. I paid 250 baht for this. It seems like you try to bargain with them when you're buying these full moon party clothes and they do not budge, not in the slightest. So just accept that the t-shirts and crop tops and things are all between like 250 to 300 baht. I've met a guy from Finland who said he can get me a really good price on a bucket. What the fuck is that? This is a little camera. So it's a camera. It's 11.15 in the morning and the beach is looking very clean. Good morning everybody. I am not feeling so fresh this morning. I don't even remember getting back to the room last night. Apparently I got back to the room and told Jeremy I was hungry so he went out to get us food and then when he brought us back some like pad thai and whatever he ended up getting. I took one bite and was just like, no, no, don't want it. And then just, just passed out. So yeah, not feeling so fresh this morning, but I don't feel absolutely awful, which is good because we've had to check out of our room at 11 o'clock. We're moving back to Tong Sala today, but that was fun. I'm really, really glad that we went to the full moon party. Really, really glad. You know, it's one of those bucket list things that you have to do at some point when you're in Thailand, manage to get yourself to Koh Phangan. And if you're here at the time of the full moon, like, it's just great. It's just a great party. I enjoyed it, I did. It, my memory is hazy of it, okay. The same as what it was nine years ago. I was trying to remember like what happened when I was at the full moon nine years ago. And I can't, my memory is hazy. And I think the exact same thing's gonna happen this time around. But one day, one day I might come to the full moon and remember it. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Jeremy's gone for a healthy bowl, is that what it's called? Looks delicious. I've gone for the bagel. I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. 
I don't like this video. And the next one is gonna be, I think, in Anton Marine Na Nature Park, National Park, or Kotal. One of those. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.